This is voice test. Test, test, one, two, three. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan, Walmart's sales director. In today's webinar, we're going to share with you about the Walmart Rora I.O. remote mapping control. The introduction of the Walmart LM200 I.O. mapping controller. Several smart fish farm scenario with the LM200 devices. Last part is a demonstration about the water sensor with cloud server. Today, we are using YouTube Live to broadcast during the presentation. If you have any questions, please type it in chat room. We will reply after the presentation. First of all, fish farming is a proper scenario for today's topic. Let's talk about the small fish farming. Typical fish farming needs to monitor environmental data like temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen value in water. They are necessary to be monitored first of all. Lightening LED to attract the fishes, feeding the fishes and controlling pumps are also essential. How to manage and monitor efficiently is an important topic. Further, it's a concept of the sensor data collection, wireless communication, and most importantly, Internet of the Things into a system which can call it as the smart fish farms. In this kind of the application, there are three features. Long distance, hard wire, and the outdoor environment. With the industrial IoT, the wireless devices and the sensors, they can fulfill this environment to achieve the intelligent monitor and the management. Regarding the fish farm architecture, as here you can see, a typical one, from bottom to the top, users need LED dimmer to attract the fishes, water pump to control the flows, feeder to control feeding and uh, and the sensors for the monitor water quality and the weather usually we are using the lp when the connectivity to collect the sensor data by L, by rs 4 5 and control all of equipment uh, equipment by the aio Users can choose to go through the public MBIoT or LTE to get on the cloud server and the private LoRa subnet to access. For the cloud ser servers, depends on the usage. Users can select a public cloud server or private ones. See master and a CMAST OTA. Today, we will talk about the Walmart the new product, LM200, and the son of the, the water sensors. Here, 
we have the recap about L LP1 uh, connectivity. For this kind of the wide range, long distance, low power transmission, Warmaster has the three types the technology to choose. MBIoT, LoRa, and the LoRa Win. For the license band, MBIoT, we have the WR222 and WR224 supported. Non license band, they are LoRa and LoRa Win. For the, for the LoRa, there are three models LM200 IO mapping controller. It's uh, today's the major topic regarding the LM100 and the LC144. We mentioned in the previous webinar a lot. For the, for the LoRa Win, we got the LR140 and the WR322 the LoRa Gateway. We also discussed them in the previous the webinar. If, if you are interested, please get more the information from us or the Warmaster YouTube the channel. What's differential between the license and the non-license band? The license band needs to be provided a service by the carrier and the service fee will be charged. For the non-license band, the infrastructure is built up by, by users. users. And there and there users can choose the private LoRa. The gateway is not necessary and uh, is suitable for the cable replacement application. Or choose the public the protocol, LoRa WAN. It's kind of different from the previous two is the unique directionally and the needed a LoRa gateway to get on the cloud server monitor monitor only the application will be more proper next we are going to talk about uh, today's the leading role LM the 200 LM 200 is an uh, IO mapping controller we will talk about what's the I/O mapping control uh, I/O mapping later. Let's see its uh, sound spec first. It used the same Aiden cast like the LM the 100 and the LC144, and also uses USB ports to do the configuration by the Walmart and no utility supports IP40 protection and the wide temperature supported. It supports the AES128 security communication and the DIN rate type. In this page, we are going to introduce the major features of the LM200 analog and I/O the mapping. Simply speaking, LM200 can map in the one of the channel source, no matter the current or the voltage to other channels. Let's see how it works. In this graphic, we can see there are four LC144 connect to the one LM200. They are using the different IDs. We set up the duo as the prolonged table. I will show you how to the config in the next page. There are there are two examples, green and red one. Let's see the green one first. The source input is the voltage, and it comes from the LC one four four the ID one hundred channel zero. When the LC144 ID100 send the signal to the LM200, it can copy the 
the exact signal to both of the channel 5 of the LC144 ID 110 and ID 130. Let's check the chain 1 and the 2 in the raw table. ID the 100 channel 0 to the ID the 130 channel 5 and the ID uh, 100, uh, 110 channel 5 is matched. This, the second example is the red one. The second example is the red one. According to the chain 3 and the 4, the source signal is current. LM200 can map LC144 ID 130 channel 1 to the channel 4 of the ID uh, 110 and ID uh, 120. So that we can see the LM200 can copy the signals to the other the devices channels. By this way, we can achieve the one-to-one -one or the one-to-multiple the analog the I/O signal transmission, like grouping or forwarding. It's it's easy to configure the, the function into the LM the two hundred. Connect your laptop to the, the LM the two hundred by the USB ports and the open the Walmart's uh, and, the and open the Wormaster and node utility. After logging it, the utility will detect what exact model you're using. If the LM200, we will see the raw chain the tabs as this photo. Just key in the what, what kind of the rule you would like to set in in the left hand section and I click the add, the new raw chain will be showed up in the right hand section. So here you can see we build up the full raw chain into the LM200 the as the list table. Don't forget the power off and on LM200 the devices to active the setting. Then it works. The behavior will operate as the we mentioned. For these features, there are one thing we would like to emphasize. We can map no matter uh, we can map not only the vo voltage to voltage or current to current signal only, but also voltage to current or the current to the voltage. It can support the, the radio control. Take an example here. If the source signal is the 50% output, just like the 12 milliamp or the 5 volt, we can map it to the different type channel. Of course, it keeps the 50% output. 12 the MA to the 5 volt or the 5 volt to the 12 MA. Therefore, if user's application is using all of the 4 to the 20 milliamp pumping controller at the beginning, however, one broken, one broken user needs to find the replacement, but the Original one, the models has been phased out. Just can find a zero to ten volt voltage one. In this case, user can replace it ten less than literally. After the LM the two hundred, let's check the water sensor as this page. Now we have the water sensor for the water level. 
pH value dissolve the argon or P Ci and the bromine. Of course, we will have the more types uh, shortly. Later, we will have a demo for the water sensor as this photo. We put the, these sensors in this palm to monitor and get the data to the cloud server. See master OTA. Later, our, our technical support at Patrick will show the details. Here, we also have a quick recap to see the, this, the water sensor the spec we're using today. Regarding the uh, water the measurement, W102-PH can measure the 0 to 40 the pH value with the 0.01 pH accuracy. WS102-DOS supports the 0 to the 20 mg per L and the accuracy is the uh, positive and the negative 0.2% FS for the dissolved argon. The last one about the detection the reduction the potential sensor is the WS102-ORP measuring range is the 0 to 20 the mg per L and uh, the positive and negative 0.01 MV accuracy. After seeing the Walmart products, we go back to discuss the fish farm application. In there, we will introduce uh, some scenarios and uh, the benefit with the Walmart LN200 solution. This page is about a typical the fish farming architecture. Usually, a fish bowl drop the several remaining cages, and the fish are in them. In the board, fishmen controlled by the LED panel board and the list the cages are connected by the Ethernet. Here, we need to the monitor the water quality, water the quality, feed the fishes, and the control the controlled pumps or LED in these cages because they are distributed close to the seawater and, and in outdoor. outdoor. Some issue, some issue happened accordingly. In this kind of the application, it's hard to wire. Cables will be corrupted, and the white temperature changes always. Based on the list of factors, users consider to the wireless to solve these the issues. And it's also the typical the cable replacement application. Then we think about the LoRa solution. LN and LC series will be a good option. In following slides, we are going to show you the three scenarios with the LM200 and the Used its features to achieve the multiple devices monitor and the control. In scenario one, we we can see that we using the LM the two hundred and the LC one four four to replace the I O the devices in the previous the page on the board one. LC144 connect the LED the controller and also install uh, LM200 the as the I.O. mapping controller. In each cage, in each cage, there are there is a LC144 to connect the water sensor by the IS485. 
and the LED the dimmer by the AIO. In this case, users can be controlled by the panel and the LC144 will send the data will send the data to the LM200. The LM200 the will copy the list of signals to the other to LC144 to change the status of the LED dimmer. With the LM200, the we can group this the different LED dimmer in the this the, the net cages. It's the convenient to build up the wireless small fish farm. Based on the architecture in the scenario one. Sometimes there is not on, only one uh, fish board on the sea. In this scenario, there are two boards tracking the different uh, uh, net cages. Users can use the only one LM200 with the LC144 to access all of the, the cages. They they can save the more cost without the LED controller, LM200, and the LC144 as long as all of the LoRa devices are in the one LoRa subnet. However, sometimes users need to monitor by the a multiple host. In this scenario, different hosts can can access all of the LC144 since they are in the same LoRa subnet. It also can achieve the concept of the host redundancy. Today, we can't demo in the seawater. However, we still find a place to approach the real condition. In this demonstration, we are using the WR222 to connect some sensors, including the ones that me measure the air quality and the water quality. Then, we upload the data to the, our the private cloud platform, Simaster OTA. Later, we will focus on the water sensor sensation. In this uh, photo, we will uh, deploy the water the sensor into this pond. And uh, there are uh, some fishes over there. So later, Patrick will show you how to uh, config these the devices into the uh, fish farm the solution and the uh, CMAS OTA monitoring. Okay, uh, we have a uh, introduction to show you how to config the WR222 and because the mobile RTU sensor connect to the serial port of WR222 so first uh, we will check the serial setting so you can see the left side in this page and uh, the, the value will uh, depend on the stack of the sensor. So we select the RS485-2 wire in interface and uh, uh, 9600 in board and so on. And uh, we select uh, the MOBUS RTU in uh, service mode. And the interval, the interval is for the WR222 use to put in data from the MOBUS sensor. Okay. And in right side, after config the serial port setting, we will start to receive the data from server sensor. So in the mobile login page, you will input the identify name and select the serial port and input the select ID and the PLC address. The value also depends on the spec of the sensor and the function code is 03 and if your con configuration and the cable connector are correct 
you can see the uh, alive is yes, and then you will see the value uh, upload from sensor to the WR222, and uh, some value uh, sometimes uh, because the sensor accuracy, the, the value need uh, post processing in the OTA. So we suggest uh, don't use the special character in the name, like the dash or underline or space. Okay, you just use the uh, English character or number. Okay. So we go to the next page. Uh, we already finish uh, configure the serial port and uh, already successfully uh, receive data from the mobile RTU sensor. So we will start to connect the CMS OTA. Uh, before connect to the OTA, we will check the system time. We will make sure the system time of the WR222 is correct. So in our date and time page, uh, we can choose the time source is get time, get PC time, or uh, sync time from the internet time server. Okay, uh, the the data is meaningful only the login time uh, time of log is correct. And uh, in the in the right side of this page. We will start to connect to the Sense Master OTA. Okay, it's easy. We just uh, select the protocol, it's MQTT, and uh, we input uh, the IP address in, uh, of the RMS server, and uh, the MQTT port default is AAA3. And uh, the access token is generate from the OTA to identify each uh, WR222 or other world master devices and uh, uh, copy paste here. And the uh, publish interval, okay, the publish interval uh, is for WR222 use to uh, upload, up data to the, upload data to the OTA server. Okay. So if your uh, configuration is correct, the status will become connected and with the green color. Okay, so uh, if, we, if we connect to the OTA successfully, we can go to the uh, website, the ota thingsmasterwarmasteru uh, this is our, uh, this is one master public OTA uh, demo site. So you can see in, uh, in our demo site, and we go to the devices, and we have a device, we have added a device for the demo. It's the WR222 weather station. So we get into the devices, you can see the uh, we can copy SS token here and uh, pass it to the WR222. And uh, we can also go to the latest telemetry to check the data it's uh, upload to the OTA uh, periodically. So you can see the, now the data upload to the OTA uh, every second. Okay. And then we go to the dashboard. For, the, for this demo, we have added a dashboard mean land weather water quality station. Okay, so we, keep, we get into the dashboard. So you can see we have many uh, analog googies here. Show the temperature and uh, air pressure and the uh, y speed and y direction. Okay, so you can see we all also have the time series table. The table will show you the history of the, the value, include the ORP, PH, and the DO. Of course, you can uh, change it by yourself. And uh, we have, uh, you can see, we have a light graph uh, show, show you the uh, water DO, PH, and ORP at the same time. So you can see the, 
water pH and the ORP, they almost keep stable. But uh, the WRD, uh, water DO, you can see the it, uh, regular change. Okay, so, so we have uh, a did another histogram uh, to, uh, to compare with the temperature and the water DO. So you can see, so you can see the temperature and the water DO has a positive relationship. So uh, the higher temperature, the higher water DO, and vice versa. Okay, so so you can add the more widgets to build up your one dashboard, and sometimes you need uh, maybe you you hope when something happens, the OTA will uh, send mail to you. Okay, so we can go to the lower chains, and we have added the weather station along. Uh, the, the one best OTA uh, provide uh, no red light developer platform for you. So you can see we have a simple example. So you can see we have a, a threshold hole. So you can see the condition is the temperature less than uh, 100. Uh, the 100 because the sensor accuracy, accuracy, the 100 means the 10 because it need to divide by 10. Okay, so we change we change to the uh, 300. The 300 means 30. Uh, because the the temperature in the Taipei is around 20 uh, 25 degrees, so the uh, condition will become true. So when the condition has become true, uh, you can see according the flow. He will the OTA will send mail to uh to you. Okay, so you can see we have a OTA warning email. You can see the from the, from my mail and it's sent to myself. So you can see uh you can see in my uh, inbox. Okay. So I try to log in in my inbox and uh, oh sorry I uh, now I apply the change apply change okay so now the condition is the condition is true and you can see I get uh, I received the warning mail it show you the device wr222 weather station has low temperature now the degree is uh, 22.2 okay so you can see it's uh, simply uh, Lua chain example for you. So you can uh, build up your own dashboard and build up your own Lua chain for you. So OTA is, a, I, I think, uh, CMS OTA is a powerful tool. Okay, uh, this is today's the demo. Uh, thanks for the Patrick's demo. It's today's topic. We introduced the, uh, about the, the World Master Rollout I.O. Remote Mapping Control and the several the fish from the scenario working with the LM200. Next webinar is about the Smart West Bin uh, Field Level Monitor Introduction. Smart West Bin Field Level Monitor Introduction and the demo. Uh, please Please register online. We will send you the link later. And uh, please subscribe to Warmaster YouTube channel to get more related information. Any question? Okay, thanks for your time to join. Uh, see you next time.